Hey everybody, what is going on? Favorite vlogger here. Hope y'all had a great, great Thanksgiving weekend. I got a great question here. It's on uh, my Facebook page. They actually sent me a private message. So, it's a really good question, man. So if you really want to get in to know and see what's going on, you, you, you know where this is going, don't you? If you don't already by now, you better get in the know, fools. Person here wants to know, what do I think about guns? And I'm going I'm, I'm to be frank with you. I'm going to be real, be really real with you on this. This is a super touchy subject, especially for me. I'm going to give you two sides of the way I see it. The way I see it is... Um, of course, in the states, it's within our amendment to have a gun. We 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 are allowed it to what they say bear arms, and I think sometimes that gets stretched out of context. Um, it's one thing to protect; it's another thing to, I would say, wound a person. I give you a prime example. Pretty soon, my daughter. And I'm probably going to be one of them crazy gun-toting lunatics in the future. My daughter's going to grow up, and she's going to attract boys. Now, I'm probably going to have to have some type of AK-47, some type of shotgun. I'm probably going to be that one crazy American lunatic in Denmark that sits out on his porch, rocking back and forth, stroking that double-gauge shotgun, waiting on my daughter to get home. <laughs> but um, in, in all realness... Um, we have that amendment. I guess it's, it's it's one thing, like I say, to protect. It's another thing to just go out and start blasting whoever. Like this, that guy at that damn movie theater with the Batman thing. That's not cool, man. That I mean, I, I say it's not cool, but he took somebody's babies. He took probably some, you know, some parents or something like that. There's some kids out there. They ain't got no mom or dad right now. And all because maybe he probably had these guns from Walmart. I don't know. I, I know if you're like 18, you go into Walmart and buy yourself a gun and some bullets. But, or or maybe he might even had it from like a grandparents where they keep the guns, you know, that type of shit. I understand, but in the same sense, I don't, I don't think it's cool, man. I hate it. I don't like it. It scares the living shit out of me. Because anytime, anywhere, at any point in the day... You could be going about your daily routines and somebody just openly, hey, just got a gun and start blasting for no apparent reason. Now, today's society with the bath sauce and everything, it, it, it can go horribly wrong. Horribly wrong. I get another prime example. A couple years ago, uh, before I think, I think right when I got around here to Denmark at that time, I was reading somewhere in the news that a guy went up in, in Wendy's and um, it was during lunchtime. So, you know, of course, there's a bunch of people in there. The guy walks in, no answers, no questions. Walks in, open the gun, just start blasting, folks. What the hell, dude? I think a, a, a deputy firefighter got killed, man. I mean, that, that type of stuff is insane. I can not think of putting my family in that type of situation. That type of stuff really bugs me, especially when they start taking these damn guns to school. That freaks me the fuck out, man. I want my kid getting hurt. That's bullshit. But now I give you the other the other retrospect side of looking like over here in Europe, especially over here in Denmark, y'all had this awesome rule where I, I guess you're allowed to have guns, but you have to have them with some type of permit. Now, if I'm saying this incorrect, please do not criticize me. I just help me if, if you're a Dane. I think it's something like uh like if you're going hunting, for some odd reason. You are only allowed it. Uh, to hunt certain games, certain animals, stuff like that. So that means if you shoot anything else, if you shoot a Santa Claus out of the sky, you're in trouble. But I think they also uh, keep that uh, to shooting ranges. You're only allowed to shoot all that craziness at a shooting range. So, I mean, that type of stuff, That's that's to me, that's awesome. But now, here comes the flip side of that. Of course... You got people that just walk into your home nowadays, home invasions and whatnot, and rob you blind. I can have somebody come in here right now because I know my door ain't unlocked. My wife just walked out to go to the to the to the doctor. 
And some dude can walk up in here right now and I have nothing to protect myself. Granted, in that situation, I probably let them take whatever the hell they want, but they're not going to take my life. And this is something me and my wife, we, we talk about a lot. What would I do in that situation? She says, get a bat. Well, what if the burglar has a gun? What do you do then? You know, you just fear for your life. You piss all over the floor. Please don't kill me. And anyway, you look at it, they're going to kill you regardless. So that that type, this this thing with, with guns is really, is really touchy subject. Um... If I was in the states, yes. At the at the at the at the cost of probably my marriage and my kid, I probably have one. But I mean, this would be a super safe, you know, triple lock protected type thing. I don't want my kid walking up in them <laughs> toy, you know. Then we have at a funeral. Here, um, I think it. And again, correct me if I'm wrong. If you're dang the students, help me for the yeah, I can 100% say I'm ready here. Low, at mule. Um, I think policemen are the only ones allowed to have guns. Again, I could be wrong because I have a family member that has rifles. And when I say rifles, he has like hunting rifles. And even his little little kid got hunting rifles, but he keeps that shit locked. And I mean, he got a big ass fucking like. This big ass gun closet, and he keeps you can see that he keeps that shit locked tight. There's no bullets in it. He keeps it nice and clean. Ain't no bullets, but I mean, wow. I mean, his son. I think his son's like ten or eleven. They both go out and they go hunt and shit like that. But that's all good. But I mean, I don't. I don't know. So I'm fifty fifty on this, and I'm kind of torn. But yes, uh, like the people say in the near future, um, <laughs> guns don't kill people. Dads with pretty daughters kill them. That probably gonna end up being me so uh if you are into a girl named jasmine hell collins don't fuck with her don't fuck with her. i don't want to have to splatter your brains all over the concrete okay let's just keep that between you and me all right but that's my take on that thank you for your question dude and um i hope that answered your question i don't know and before i end this video i just want to say i am not I'm not by any means some type of psychology person. I do not have a PhD in advice giving. So, but I will give my own opinions about stuff. And that was one of them. So, yeah, some type of weird ass disclaimer. So, in case somebody said, oh, well, he said on YouTube it was okay. Then I get taken to court. Then I'm screwed. So, uh, yeah. I hope y'all had a great Thanksgiving. Mine was pretty tight. I'm going to uh, go ahead and continue on my day. Y'all, y'all liking the beard, the Movember beard? It's, it's. I almost can't wait till next week, man, because I'm ready to shave again. I'm looking like the great outdoorsman. Anyways, favorite vlogger signing out, guys. See you on the next video. Peace.